Hey Wolfpack, the purpose of this video is to teach you everything you need to know about your cleats. As a rugby player, selecting the right type of cleat and knowing everything you can about cleats to take good care of them is absolutely an essential part of being an elite rugby player, which is exactly what we want you to become. So what we've done is we put this video together uh, by going over to Extreme Soccer and asking Chris, the manager over there, a few questions about how to properly select and take care of your cleats. Chris, so can you tell us what is the difference between a molded versus a studded boot in terms of position specific as well as field type? Okay, so if you can look at the base of these two shoes right here, uh, in my right hand here, I have a molded boot. In my left hand, I have a traditional rugby studded boot. Uh, obviously, you're going to notice the molded boot uh, is just that. It's molded out of plastic, uh, so they're going to be a little bit shorter, uh, probably more back-specific if you're looking at rugby positions. A studded boot is going to have these removable metal studs, uh, much better for traction, uh, oftentimes a forward or a heavier player. Uh, you're going to get a lot more grip. Uh, specifically uh, for Wolfpack Rugby, uh, a molded cleat uh, is going to be much better on turf. Uh, in fact, you cannot wear a studded cleat on turf, uh, both for you know, health purposes uh, and the cleats can damage the turf. Uh, so if you're playing on grass, mud, uh, more natural surfaces, you can go with a, a studded cleat like this. But for Wolfpack Rugby, for practices and for home games, you're going to need a molded cleat. Okay, great. And now you had mentioned, um, w what about away games? If, if we're playing away, you know, it's a winter sport and we're playing on grass, um, is it recommended that, that the player have a, a second set of cleats that are studs? Oftentimes with rugby, uh, being in this area, people are playing both on turf and grass. Having two sets of boots is ideal. Uh, having a molded cleat for turf or for drier conditions, uh, harder surfaces, the molded cleat is going to be a lot better for that. If you're playing in the rain, in the mud, on natural surfaces, having a studded cleat is going to give you a lot more grip uh, and be a lot better for uh, inclement weather. Okay. Um, so can you give us some tips in terms of uh, shoe care and, and how to properly care for your boots? Okay. Uh, the most important thing for boots, uh, especially in rugby, is you're playing in the wintertime. You're playing in the rain. You're playing in the mud. Cleaning your boots and taking care of your boots after the game uh, is paramount to extend the life of your boots. Putting either newspaper or a towel or some kind of dry absorbent material into your boots after you're done playing in it and cleaning any kind of mud or grime off of your boots uh, will help. What happens if your boot stays wet uh, or there's a lot of mud and moisture on it, it can degrade the glue and degrade the stitching on the boot. It's not a, a defective material. It just wears down your boot much quicker uh, and you're only going to get you know, a couple months out of a pair of boots. Taking care of your boots, making sure they're dried out before you play, not just shoving them in your bag, uh, actually pulling them out, letting them dry and cleaning them uh, will double or triple the life of your boot. Okay, and how about break-in? How should our players be breaking in their boots before the season? Okay, it's a little bit difficult with, uh, with cleats, wearing them around the house. We do suggest wearing them um, just casually for a half an hour to an hour um, total time before you play at all. That's going to allow the leather and the materials and the inside to break into your foot a little bit more, uh, mold your foot a bit, so when you go out that first time, you're not wearing a brand new boot, and the shoe, if it hasn't been broken in, can give you blisters and, and can break in on your foot, and your, your foot's going to pay the price. A huge thank you to Zach and all the team over at Extreme Soccer for this information. It's really, really helpful. One other point that we didn't talk about yet uh, is the fact that many of you are, have played football and so you'll already have football cleats and the question that we get a lot is can football cleats be used for rugby? Um, well the answer is yes and no. Here's the deal. Basically football cleats have a, a cleat on the very end of the toe and um, it happens to be this cleat right here as you can see. Okay, That cleat not allowed in rugby. Um, so You've got your choice. If you want to retain your football cleats, um, you just have to remove that stud. Um, but that's the big difference between rugby, rugby cleats and football cleats. You've got to remove that toe cleat. Um, it's, it's considered unsafe for the type of play that we have, and, and uh, it can't be there. So here's what we've learned. First, 
For Wolfpack Rugby, we want to start with a molded cleat. Number two, follow a proper break-in process for breaking in your cleats. You're going to want to do that now and start that process so that when the season comes, you're ready to go and you won't run into foot blistering problems. And number three, properly caring for your shoes and your cleats is the most important thing you can do. So there you have it, guys. I hope this video is extremely useful to you. Uh, now you know how to care for your shoes, and we'll see you out there uh, 5 o'clock Wednesdays at the track for strength and conditioning. And, of course, uh, Saturdays for touch rugby. See you then.